What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to break down a fadeaway jumper. Let's get started. All right guys, like I said, we're gonna discuss how to shoot a fadeaway jump shot and what the purpose of using it is for. But before we get started, go ahead, click that link that's in the description if you would like a free workout from us at Think Pro Basketball. All right, so make sure you click it. It's gonna help you take your game to another level. Now we're talking about a fadeaway jump shot. A lot of NBA players use this move. You know, a lot of people still say, shoot that MJ fadeaway from the greatest player of all time. But what is the purpose of shooting a fadeaway jump shot? Well, the fadeaway, it allows you to create extra space. It allows you to get that room that you need to get your jumper off. It also looks good. It keeps the defender off balance. There's a lot of good reasons to use a fadeaway jump shot. And the good thing is you can use it anywhere you want on the floor, whether it be the three-point line, mid-range, or if you're a post player and you're on the block to use that fadeaway jump shot, right? So I've just given you a couple of reasons why it's important to use the fadeaway. Again, like I said, using that fadeaway jump shot, it allows you to create space, keeps the defender off balance with the way that you go, right? It allows you to shoot over the top of t smaller defenders, okay? So the fadeaway jump shot is a very useful shot but it takes time and practice in order to perfect it, in order to get comfortable using it because a fadeaway jump shot is a little bit off balance. It's not the same as shooting a regular jump shot when you're on balance, you're squared to the basket. The fadeaway, you're fading away from the rim, so you're off balance and it takes a little bit more power, right? And we're gonna get into it next on what it takes to make and take a great fadeaway jumper. You would not like to lay low, sell out on a all right guys, so now let's discuss how to use and properly use the fadeaway jump shot. Well, it's important, number one, to be able to turn over either shoulder, right? Whether I want to turn towards my right shoulder and shoot the fadeaway, or if I want to turn over my left shoulder and use the fadeaway, right? Again, we want to be able to set up our defender. So it's important if we're backing them down to maybe give a fake one direction to help get that defender to lean that way so you can come back the opposite way, right? So if I want to come this direction, I want to fake towards the baseline, get that defender off balance, boom, right into my shot. I could also go into it off of the dribble, right? I could just be here dribbling into it, boom, and then going right up and fading away. Like I said, it creates enough room and space to get the shot off. Now there's a couple of things that's also important in going into your jump shot when shooting the fadeaway. You must use your legs. If you do not use your legs on a fadeaway jump shot, you will find out that a lot of the times that you shoot one, it's going to be short. So get that ball in the air as well. Use your legs and get the ball in the air, both key points when trying to shoot a fadeaway jumper. Okay, you're gonna see in a few minutes here, or a few seconds here, what the fadeaway looks like in full speed. You'll see it on both shoulders going either way, dribbling into it, so you have an idea of what it looks like. Okay, but again, to review, it helps you create space to shoot over taller def or shorter defenders, keep the defender off balance by using a fake one direction, right, and using your legs and getting that ball in the air is so important when shooting a fadeaway jump shot. So right now you're going to see a couple of different angles, what the fadeaway looks like and how it should be performed, either with the back down, with putting the defender on your back, or dribbling into it as well. So let's check them both out in full speed. All right, Hoopers, that's it for today's video. Very simple, straight to the point. Make sure you paid attention to all the tips that I gave you, and then check out the full speed clips as well so you know what the fadeaway looks like off of the dribble with your back turn into it, into a spin fadeaway. Bunch of different ways to use it, but most importantly, it helps you create space, keep the defender off balance, 
so you can get your jumper off. If you enjoyed today's video, learned something, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button to join Think Pro Basketball and get all the great content we release every single week designed to help you improve your game. Now until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put that work in, and remember to always keep hooping. See you next time.